Over a two-day period, volunteers spread mulch, poured concrete, and transformed this portion of Fair Park into the city's first handicapped accessible playground. It's kind of exciting to see all the stuff getting put in the ground. Ryan Reynolds realized Tupelo did not have a playground for handicapped kids, so for his senior class project, he set out to change that. John Pittman owns a construction company and served as Ryan's mentor. It was such a big idea that you kind of listen and you, I, I kind of took it as maybe it could happen, but we're getting the money and the things like that that was going to be necessary to do it was just kind of a, uh, it was going to be a big step. But Ryan got donations from individuals and local businesses and members of the men's group at First Baptist Church were eager to help out. I absolutely just jumped on the chance to do it. I, I, you know, I can't offer very much. I'm not really good at, at uh, you know, I do a lot of things with my hands, but I guess I'm a strong back. I've actually helped with a couple other senior projects as well, and uh, this is probably one of the most thorough and more, inten more intensive projects that I've seen a senior do at Tupelo High. You know, everybody's working together as a team, and, you know, that's what matters. So we need more of that nowadays, I think. By Monday, the concrete had dried and the playground was being enjoyed by seven-year-old Jordan Daniel. He's my nephew and a cancer survivor who is wheelchair bound. <laughs> what about the swing? Sure we're screaming on it. Yes. Why? It was scared. Thanks to Ryan, a host of volunteers and generous donors, kids like Jordan will be able to enjoy the playground for years. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.